the year it's supposed to have been frustrating for you not to have more caps you know, be behind you at, at this stage. Um, so obviously hoping to, to make an impression over the, the next uh, couple of games. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's just part and parcel of obviously with injuries and stuff. And to be fair, the quality we have and at centre half, um, you have the likes of Duffy, Egan, Darrow Shea, and now Nathan Collins coming in. Um, it's a tough position to get in, but um, no, it's one of them that I'll, in, in terms of this week, I'll look forward to, um, and hopefully you can put on a good performance over the next two games. Yeah, if you are playing on Thursday, no Erling Haaland, good or bad thing? Well, obviously you want to challenge yourself. Um, that's that's why you play. Um, He's been excellent for City this year, probably up there, one of the best players in the world, if not the best. But um, yeah, whatever, whether he plays or doesn't play, that's, we have to focus on ourselves, and that's the main thing. And tell me a little bit about, uh, obviously going very well uh, at uh, Middlesbrough, I'm doing there, Michael Carrick, and uh, it's made a, a, a big impression <coughs> quite quickly. Yeah, very big impression. We've, uh, it was a tough start. Um, we expected to be higher on the table uh, at the start, but it just wasn't to be. Um, but how we responded in the last couple of weeks, the manager's been excellent. Um, Simple messages, but very effective. Um, and hopefully you can improve, and then after this break, we can kind of kick on. Kevin Kinn, please. Uh, hi there. Hi. Yeah. Um, I think that was your first competitive start against uh, Ukraine. Yeah, there was, yeah. Can you talk to us a little bit about how you found the step up? Yeah, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, being a part of this group has been excellent. Um, the kind of cohesion, everyone kind of is togetherness. It's, uh, it's been really good. Um, and you can see that in our performances. Um, in terms of the Ukraine game, personally, um, really enjoyed it. It was a tough game, but it was, uh, it was one that I look, ba I look back on fond memories. Mm. And you mentioned there the, the strength and depth that Ireland have at centre-back level, you included there. Is it ever a little bit dispiriting to see all these? It's, it, there's just such depth there, and it is, as you mentioned, just such a hard, such a difficult part of this team to break into. No, not really, because you have to think of the, the whole rather than just yourself. Um, and that's important. Like we're all in this together. You all, got, all you guys want the best for the country, and so do I. So whether that's putting out your best players, whether I'm in it or not in it, I don't really mind as long as the team win. That's the main thing. Great. Ashton, please. Sarah, how did it feel, I suppose, first when you came back from injury to get back into the squad? Yeah, it was pleasing. Um, disappointed to get injured in the last um, in the last kind of couple of games, but. Uh, now it's good to be back involved with the squad and uh, hopefully we can have a good week. And how has the move been to Middlesbrough? Obviously spending so long at Blackburn Rovers over a decade of club close to your heart. To have to leave and to move on, how has that been? Yeah, it's been it's been an interesting kind of challenge, I'd say, of last when I was at Blackburn, had a manager for five years and then have three managers within four or five months. So it's been a good challenge for me personally. Um, and one that I look back on thinking it just it's kind of tests me as a person. So. Um, I'm kind of the type of person that I like a challenge and hopefully over the next couple of weeks, months, we can kind of kick on as a club. And what would it mean to you to get a start on Thursday? Yeah, it's, it's be proud, proud moment um, to play for your country. I've only played three times, so it's, um, I'll hopefully I can get a few more caps and if I do play on Thursday, I'll well and good, just hopefully you can put in a good performance. And it's always quite a big occasion for your friends and family? Yeah, it's huge. It's uh, they look on it. It's kind of their part of the journey as well, not just me. So um, yeah, we we'll just have to wait and see whatever the manager thinks. We'll take it then. Damien Spalman, please. Just going back to Middlesbrough. What what is it that Michael has brought to the brought to the club? Um, obviously, his experience as a player. Uh, won maybe five Premier Leagues, Champions League. Um, and then he's brought in Jonathan Woodgate as well, so he's played, he's played for Middlesbrough, he knows the club inside out, and he's played for Real Madrid. So that experience alone kind of gives us that extra confidence to kind of push you on. Um, and he's like he's kind of given simple messages, but like I said, very effective messages in what we want to do. And I think he's brought the group together since he's come in. As you said, I mean, his reputation as a player commands instant respect, but as a new manager, does he almost have to win you over as much as you have to win him over? Yeah, it's, that's the type of relationship, but so far he's, he's been excellent. Um, the lads has taken on the message that he wants to put across, and um, training sessions have been very detailed in what he wants. Um, and like I said, he's brought everyone together, um, and we just, like I said, just kind of keep pushing on and keep moving forward. Sean O'Connor, please. Hey, Tara, I was just wondering if that Ukraine game, Steve, not usually sets up with a back three, but you usually play the back four in Middlesbrough. Like, how do you find the two formations? Well, the start of the season was a back three at Middlesbrough um, under, Chris, under Chris Wilder, uh, but now we've kind of resorted back to a back four. So um, I'm kind of used to both formations, so it doesn't really affect me, to be honest. I know you've only been since today. Is next March's Euro qualification kind of big on the players' thoughts this weekend, or are you just focused on the two friendlies? 
I think you have to just focus game by game. Um, you can't look at the Malta game. You have to kind of focus on the Norway game for next week. But obviously, in the long term, you do have to. This is a preparation for those games come March. Um, but obviously, what we'll do in, over the next couple of games will kind of dictate what we do come March. There's massive competition for places up for grabs now this week too. Yeah, huge. Everyone wants to make a good impression um, on the manager, and uh, we're looking for a positive, positive week overall. Any further questions, guys? John Fanny, please. Barry, just go into the second half of last season when you were looking at your options in the Premier Future. Was there Premier League on your mind, or was there a possibility of that at all towards the end of the season? No, not at all. Um, to be honest with you, I wasn't thinking about any clubs. Um, I was just, like I said, take game by game. Um, if you start thinking long term and like further down the line, I think your your media kind of your game by game will kind of your focus will go off it. So um, I didn't really care about what was happening further down the line. I just wanted to focus game by game. And is that something you think is achievable with Middlesbrough? Is that is that your ultimate goal? Yeah, that's as a young kid you want to play in the Premier League um, and the Championship that has that nature. You look at Forest last year. I don't know when they were bottom of the league and then they. They got tri they got um, promoted on the playoffs. So, but there's plenty of competition this year in the championship, and uh, hopefully we can be up there uh, come the end of the season. Hey, hey, Derek. Uh, just again on the competition for places in the Irish squad, you, you've had a chance to see Nathan Collins up close. Um, what, what, do you, what do you make of him, and what talent has he got in, in that system? Yeah, he's for his age he's very mature um, he's a big future definitely and getting his move to Wolves he's, uh, he's in my opinion he's thoroughly deserved that so I think he'll only get better um, and you'd, you'd imagine he'd be, he'll, be, he'll get a good few caps for this for, this, for our country you think he could score a goal if he did? <laughs> I hope I hope um, when, I, when I see the goal it's just uh, and a fair play to him like I said he's, he's a talented lad and he's, uh, he's a big future ahead of him was that, like, just sorry, just one more thing. He didn't kind of push it forward like that. What, what extra responsibilities that give you as um, I think, like I said, it's a team game. Like it's, it's respons there's a responsibility on everyone uh, to produce a good performance. Um, every time you go out for your country, you just want to do the country proud, and uh, everyone's responsible for that. Okay, thanks, guys. Cheers, Thank you. Thank you.